Hi everyone, if you're new here to the channel, my name is Ovi. I'm a first year medical student here at Trinity College Dublin and welcome to Ovi Med. Alright, so in this week's video, I'm going to take you around a very quick campus tour here at Trinity College Dublin in Ireland. So being a medical student, most of my classes are actually in TBSI, which is the Trinity Biomedical Science Institute which I'm gonna show you real quick. That means that I'm not really coming onto central campus, the old part of the campus all that often. When I'm coming here, it's often to eat at the buttery, which is right there on the other side. But apart from that, I don't really come here very often. So I'm gonna try my best to tell you about these buildings right here. I'm gonna show you in the old library, of course, if you stick all the way to the end. But before we get into that, let's start outside the college. All right, so the first thing that you're gonna notice once you come past Trinity College Dublin are these big fences and the walls. So right here, right in front of the college, the fence is actually a bit smaller than all the way around. Same thing for the walls, as you're gonna see on the screen right now. And now we're gonna walk towards the front gate. And I think it's closed now, because we're Sunday morning. I think it only opens up like really, really early in the morning. So we're gonna find another entrance to get in. But let me show you what the main entrance looks like. All right, so I've just made it past the Nassau Street gate entrance and now we're actually on the campus. And this is the Trinity College Old Library. So I'm actually gonna show you what it looks like inside if you stick till the very end. So stay tuned for that. But right now we're gonna move towards the Camp Nile and the Parliament Square. So let's go. So right now we're standing right in the middle of Parliament Square. Right here we have the chapel. At the end we have the Regent's House. And right here, this is the public theater. And obviously if I turn around, this is the very famous Camp Nile. So let me tell you a bit more about the Camp Nile. All right, so this is the bell tower. So it was sculpted by Thomas Kirk and it was built in 1853. And as it stands, it's almost 30 meters high. It's one of the oldest buildings and the campus actually being built in 1853 but one older than that is right behind me and this is the rubrics all right so this is the rubrics so it's actually one of the oldest building right here on trinity's campus and they were built around the 1700s and they were home to the trinity's oldest societies such as the philosophical society So now let's go back to Parliament Square, which is right over there on the other side of the Camp Nile, so I can talk to you about the buildings that are found over there. All right, so now that we're back on the Parliament Square, let me talk to you about the buildings that are found right here, and let's start with the public theater. All right, so if we come closer to the front doors here in front of the public theater, we can see another one of Trinity's iconic venues. So the public theater was designed by architect Sir William Chambers and was completed in 1786. So I got this picture of the inside from Trinity's website, which I'm going to link in the description down below. So you can see the really high ceilings and there's also an organ in there. So this is mainly used for private receptions, talks, seminar, concerts and things like that. All right, so that's all that I found on Wikipedia about this building. As I've told you earlier, I don't really know much about the buildings around here because I'm really not often here. Um, here then, moving on to the Regent's house. So we can see that the architecture of the buildings here on Parliament Square are pretty similar. Um, this building was also made in the 1700s. It's three stories high and it's made out of stone. And it has one central staircase in which you can access the upper exam hall, which I'm going to pull a picture of 
uh, right here from Trinity's website. Actually, I think that uh, this website is pretty cool. You should go and check it out because you can literally visit the building and it's like a 3D model. So you can like see the different rooms from different buildings. So uh, you definitely should go and check that out if you want to see more. And since the 1700s, the only additions to the building or the only modifications that have been made are fire exits or escape routes. All right, so I think that sums up pretty well what's to see here in Parliament Square. But there's a building that I didn't tell you about that we walked right past and it's called the Graduates Memorial Building. So let's go right there and show you closer. All right, so here we are then at the Graduate Memorial Building. So this building was built in 1902, and I think it's one of my favorite buildings right here on campus, just because it looks so cool. And it actually reminds me of Hogwarts, you know, in Harry Potter, just by its styling and just the presence that it has. I don't know about you, but I really like the styling of this building. So anyway, something that I forgot to mention is right here next to it, it's the dining hall building. And now I'm gonna take you around to see the libraries, which are on the other side of the old library, which is this whole building right here. But before going there, let me just put a little time lapse of the buildings in the Parliament Square for one last time, and then we'll move all the way on the other side. the Berkeley Library, which you can see behind me right here. So this is actually my go-to library. Every single time I'm on campus, I need to study something real quick in between classes. This is exactly where I go. So now we're Sunday morning, so it's closed, so I cannot show you inside. And you always need to book before going in, and that's obviously due to the current sanitary situation. And then on the other side from this place right here, we have the College Park. And this is a big green field where all kinds of events happen. And then right on the other side over there is the rugby field. But before we go through there, let me talk to you about this very building right here, which is the museum building. All right, so the museum building then. So this building right here was built in 1857. So once again, that makes it one of the oldest buildings right here on campus. So it's actually closed, but I did go inside once last semester. So let me just put my Instagram post right here somewhere so you can go and check it out if you wanna see what it looks like inside because it's really, really beautiful. Like I said, it looks like Hogwarts. And then right next to the museum building, which is behind me, we have this very structure right here, which is called Sphere Within a Sphere. So I've actually made a post on my Instagram account about this very sphere, which I'm gonna link right here so you can go ahead and read more about it. And apparently this structure turns, but I've never seen it turning. I guess it's only like in big exhibition days or something, but yeah. And then right next to the Berkeley Library is the Arts Building. So actually in the building right there, uh, there's a study space, which I go to as well. I don't know the name of this library, but as you can tell, it's currently pretty empty and closed, but this is what it looks like from the inside. All right, so we're now at the rugby field. And as you can see, there are buildings all the way around. And this is all on campus, by the way. There are also buildings behind me all the way around. So I don't really know all of these buildings. I can't really show you all of them because it's gonna take like forever. So I guess I'm just gonna show you the business building, which is right here on the other side. All right, so this right here behind me is the business building. So I guess if you're going to business, if you're doing a bachelor's degree or a master's, this is where you're gonna be spending most of your time. But don't quote me on that because I don't know anything about the business degree in here. So yeah, enjoy this little view. And when you get into Trinity, well, you just let me know if that's where you spend all of your time or not. So here's something useful that I just found. So here's an aerial view of the campus. So earlier when I started, this is the Parliament Square, which was right here. Here's the Camp Nile. These are the rubrics. 
This is the old library, which I'm gonna get to real soon. Then here's the rugby field. This is a museum building. And now we are right here. And then you can see TBSI, which is this building right here with a lot of glass. But let's get back to the old library. So let me show you what it looks like inside. So as promised earlier in this video, if you stuck around for long enough, I was gonna show you the inside of the old library. So without any further ado, let's go inside. So here we are inside the old library. It's also known as the long room. Wow, just look at this place. This is actually my first time coming here inside. The lockdown just finished here in Ireland. It's at level three, so I was allowed to go in. But wow, just look at this place. This is amazing. Wow, wow, wow. I just realized that the quality of the video inside here is not the best due to the extreme low light situation. Um, the lights are actually closed to preserve the books, which I'm going to show you right here. And also look at this staircase. There's a second floor as well, but I'm going to talk to you about that in a bit more detail in just a few seconds. All right, so here you can see the marble busts that line the long room. So this is a collection that began in 1743 when 14 of these busts were commissioned from sculptor Peter Shemakers. The busts are of great philosophers and writers of the Western world and are also of men connected with Trinity College Dublin. All right, so the main chamber is 65 meters long or 213 feet for those from the United States. It's called the Long Room and it was built between 1712 and 1732. And it currently houses more than 200,000 of the library's oldest books. Initially, the long room had a flat ceiling, shelving for books only on the lower level, and an open gallery. But by the 1850s, the room had to be expanded as the shelves were filled due to the fact that the library had been given permission to obtain a free copy of every single book that had been published in Ireland and in the UK. In 1860, the long room's roof was raised to accommodate an upper gallery. Sadly, the upper gallery is now closed to visitors, but you can still admire how good it looks. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you wanna join me through my journey through medical school, or if you wanna know what it's like to be a medical student here at Training College Dublin, make sure you click on that subscribe button and give this video a like. You can also find me on Instagram at ov.med. This video is a bit different than the videos that I usually make, which is about medical school or studying. So I hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next video.